I'm about to show you an incredible workflow where you can go from a website that shows off our personality to actually talking to it. Good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, not much time for socializing these days, is there? Too busy trying to keep ourselves alive. Now this is possible through the power of AI and we'll be combining tools like ChatGPT, Character AI, and at the end of the video, I'll even show you how to take that character and enhance every single GPT-4 output with the character description that we will generate here. So while this video is gonna be entertaining and we'll be chatting to some of our favorite characters. What do you say? I say this is absolutely incredible. It makes me excited about the future. This video will also be one of the biggest unlocks in terms of productivity on this channel. All right, first and foremost, the easiest, most obvious, but also the weakest way to do this. Just use GPT-4. With a prompt like this that you can find in the description below, as per usual, you simply replace this word and tell it what character you want to talk to. Let's just use good old Borat here and you can run this prompt. Later on in this video, you'll see why the other methods are preferable, but there you go. Yakshimash. Yakshimash. Oh God. Okay, so look, this works and you could talk to any character like this, but let me show you how to go a step further and actually make this work on a deeper level. What we will need for that is this site called Character AI that you might have heard of already. And they're so popular that usually you have a little bit of a wait list when logging in. And if you didn't know, this company is a part of the big boys in the AI space, as you can see here. In the infra research and model development, category. You can find them right here, Character AI. And that's because they're very good at this one thing, and that is modeling characters. So while we're still in queue, let me show you how to get to a point where you have everything you need to activate one of these characters inside of character.ai. So let's head on over to GPT-4, and here's the magical prompt that will make all of it happen. Shout out to Philip for helping us explore this and put all this together, because all this will be simpler than you think. Nevertheless, I want to take a second to explain what's going on here. So essentially, there's a certain template that Character AI takes to activate a custom character in there. And the template looks as follows. You need a name, you need a short description, a long description, a signature greeting, definition of the character, and example dialogues. And the example dialogues are provided in a very particular form right here. Now, the beauty of using GPT-4 to fill out this form instead of going through it by yourself is that it can do all the heavy lifting for you. So what we'll do is we'll copy this full prompt, okay? And then inside of GPT-4, I'm going to enable plugins. And then you want to install WebPilot, which is essentially alternative to the Bing browsing feature that right now is disabled for legal reasons. And right there, we just check that one little box and insert our prompt. And now what we're able to do is provide it with a certain link where it will gather the information from. And as our instructions at the beginning of the prompt say, create a detailed character profile based on the given link slash data, it will do exactly that. We just need to give it that link. And the character we'll be doing this on is a very special one to me personally. My favorite computer game of all time. It's this old school German game that most of you probably don't know. It's called Gothic. And to briefly sum that game up so you understand what we'll be dealing with here. It's one of the most unforgiving games out there. What? Try that again and you'll regret it. There's no map, there's no tutorial, and all that you have to complete the game is the conversations with the other characters in the game. And that's why it's perfect for these examples, because the characters are really great. They have to be if there's no map markers on where to go next, right? And one particular character from that game is called Diego, all right? So the game came out in 2001, so this is the way Diego looks. But the point is, he has an amazing personality. Matter of fact, you might be familiar with that personality, because this short summary of Diego kind of sums up a lot of AI YouTubers these days. And look, I know that's kind of a spy you take, but check this out. Diego is a clever man who always looks for opportunities to get rich. He has a line of business and is ready for the dirty work if there is money in it to be made, yet remains loyal to his friends. Very smart, can set up well in life and get you out of many opposites. Diego likes to be up to date and always knows what's going on. Isn't this just the perfect description of the typical make $40,000 with ChatGPT type of content creator? I mean, they too like to be up to date and always know what's going on. And they're not afraid of the dirty work of promising unrealistic results. All right, that has had to be said, but now back to creating this character. And you can do this from any computer game wiki or even the Wikipedia page of a certain person. So I'll just copy the URL here post the link and let GPT-4 do the heavy lifting. All right, so I'm happy to announce that for today's video, I found the perfect sponsor. V6, the ultimate bots to grow and manage your Discord server, which we actually use inside of our community Discord server, is releasing a brand new AI powered feature that allows you to talk to various characters. And this thing is so much fun because in a few clicks, it allows you to add all these different popular personalities to your Discord server. And then you and your friends can start talking to them. And look, it just launched. They already have hundreds of characters, but check it out. We could pick Arya Stark or how about adding Bet 
Batman to your server. You know what? I could actually use some of that Hermione energy inside the server. So I'll just click her. And then all I'll do is say it's only allowed to talk in the character test channel that we're going to use now. There you go. So we added the first character. And if I go into the Discord, she already greeted us. Greetings, esteemed members of the AI Advantage. And there we go. Bird that is running our weekly AI art contest is already talking to her. How do you pronounce Leviosa? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> That's perfect. Remember, it's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa. <laughs> Let's just ask her, where is Harry? Diagonally. Oh, so when you ask her about characters, she's respecting their privacy. Fair enough. And the cool thing is you can add multiple of these. So I'll just add Dumbledore to this channel too. And there you go. Albus just entered the chat. <laughs> I'll just ask both of them how they're doing today. And there we go. Now we have a little Harry Potter AI channel in the Discord that you can go and try out. But that's where it ends. Me6 actually ventured into the AI space and added a bunch of features. With the Me6 version of Slash Imagine, you can use their image generator. And with Slash Write, you can use ChatGPT directly inside of Discord. So with all these features and some of the biggest creators in the space, like the official Roblox server or Mr. Beast, and even the AI Advantage community using this bot for their own server, I can only recommend you checking it out. As you can see, we use a lot of their features, including the brand new character plugin. So why not check it out yourself? And now let's get back to the video. And here we are. Webpilot is looking at the website, collecting all the data, and GPT-4 is going to do the thinking and writing for us. And already we're getting a full character profile for character AI. And let me tell you, as someone who played through this game around four times, it gets it perfectly right. He's a skilled thief, loyal friend, and savvy opportunist. In this dark world of Gothic where everybody's just out for their own interest, Diego is one of few friendly souls that guides you through that universe. So this greeting is perfect. And even this example dialogue perfectly encapsulates the conversations you're having in there. So what I'm trying to say is this workflow is just really damn good try it out but what we get to do now is we get to copy all of this right the output here and now we have exactly what character ai wants from us so when i head on over there and accept our terms all you need to do is go on over to create create a character and i'll just quickly log in using google and i'm back in the waiting room so see you in 26 minutes a few moments later i'll just pick a username agree to the terms and we're ready to go create create a character. And what we'll be doing here is using the advanced mode. So click edit details advanced down here. Beautiful. So now we can fill all this out. So this part is very simple. We just copy over the name, the short description, the long description, the greeting. I'll pick the game characters category here and you can pick whatever voice. And then down here, what you want to do is copy all of this, okay? The character definition and the example dialogue and post it into here. And that's it. Now we can save Diego. And now if you give it a minute to process, you can go up to your profile and you can see all the characters that you created. So right here, let's take the newest Diego. Let's actually take this one step further and enable character voices right there. I'll just need headphones. And now I can talk to a character from my favorite video game ever with voice. Hey, Diego, long time no see. Ugh, not Digger, alright. Hey, Igor, I had no idea you were around these parts. Long time, indeed. How's life been treating you? Okay, we seem to have picked a female voice, so I'll just change that quickly. Easy enough, right? We'll just give him the voice of friendly Tony here. Well met, stranger. The name's Diego. You look like you could use a friend in these parts. And that's actually close enough. Let's do this again. Good to see you. It's been a while. What? Ah, and there it picked up German because in my Google Chrome settings, I didn't have English on top of my preferred language. So, one more try. Good to see you. It's been a while. Send that. That worked well. Yeah, not much time for socializing these days. Is there? Too busy trying to keep ourselves alive. Okay, that's legit. So, how can I help around here? Well, there's always plenty of work to be done. Helping with the digging, gathering supplies, that sort of thing. And if you're not afraid of a little danger, I know a trick or two about raiding bandit camps. There's plenty of valuable stuff to be had, if you're willing to take the risk. And I know all the best shortcuts, so you can stay one step ahead of the law. What do you say? I say this is absolutely incredible and makes me excited about the future. And look, this is just scratching the surface. Because really with the recipe that I just gave you, you could just create a new chat, enable WebPilot, paste this, go to any website, go to the about section. For example, here, the about section on my website. And then you just copy that in here and you have a digital Igor you can talk to. Who wouldn't want that, right? It's Igor, the multilingual maestro. <laughs> My greeting is, hey there, ready to dive into the world of AI or maybe catch some waves? That's fair. Let's ask him. Do you even chat GPT, bro? <laughs> huh, yes, I am. What would you like to know about chat GPT? Oh boy, wrong voice. 
Hey there, ready to dive into the world of AI or maybe catch some waves? That's better. So there you go. You can talk to Digital Igor, link in the description. But hey, it doesn't stop there. You can go crazy with this now because this framework, this workflow allows for a lot of creativity. For example, I'll just remove the link in the end and I'll say what I want in the beginning. Create a detailed character profile based on a fictional dog who became a pirate during the golden age of piracy. <laughs> No need for web pilot, run it. And there you have Captain Barkbeard, a fearless seafaring canine with a heart full of adventure and a nose for buried treasure. I think you're getting the point. You can do this on anything, but we don't stop there. Here's another tip. Take this output, put it into GPT-4 and at the top, just say instructions, write an email to my brother about me not being able to attend the family reunion. And now we can use all the capabilities of ChatGPT with the personality of Captain Barkbeard. <laughs> And this is where we start to enter very advanced territory. This is something that is called character slash persona modeling. And that goes way beyond the entertainment aspect that I showed you on character AI. Now you can really use some of these personalities that go quite deep here and enhance your chat GPT outputs. Look at that, a pirate's apologies for missing the family reunion. Ahoy there, me dear brother, etc. This goes way deeper than telling it, hey, you're right in the style of a dog captain because we gave it so much more context. Really powerful technique right here. But hey, not even the most detailed character will do you any good if you don't consider some of these prompting basics when interacting with GPT-4. I'll see you there.